conversion side of things. So some of the things we'll be looking at are things like more conversion optimization based. So once you're getting the traffic, it's about getting people to click through, getting people to, to do what you want them to do. Um, so we'll talk about those. Um, and as I said, if anyone's got any suggestions or comments or think what I'm saying is let us know. Um, that's one thing else you'll discover if you do SEO, that, that it's not black and white, to, to use a bad turn of phrase. But white on black sucks. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, it's, it's about, um, th there's different opinions about everything in SEO, so happy to express some of those tonight. I'll be expressing mine, and, and you're welcome to express yours as well. Yeah, this is not the best projector, so stuff there is, is difficult to read um, in some instances, but, but I'll tell you where it's important. And I need my glasses. Talking about needing to read. Okay, we'll try and do sites of people who actually turned up today. So I do have a little list. I think Dieter is here. So we'll do his site. Um, we're considering recording this session tonight. Um, has anyone got concerns or worries about that happening? Um, yeah, uh, if, when we record it, we'll put it up online, so that's okay. Um, we um, tend to be tend to be nice or sort of nice to people. I'll try not to make anyone cry. Um, it shouldn't happen. There'll be some things on some people's sites, but hopefully, hopefully the sites that I ripped to pieces of people aren't here on, so we'll see. But I'm not, I'm not going to be too nasty anyway tonight. <laughs> okay, um, the first site we'll look at is Back Buddy, um, and that's Dieter's site. Um, now, one of the first fundamental things I do when I get a new site to see um, what's happening is actually to see how that site is currently indexed in Google. So, to do that, I'll use a command. Use the site command. Is anyone not familiar with that? So, where I do site colon and the domain name. This works in Google, it works in Bing and Yahoo as well, and it actually comes up and shows all of the pages that are indexed by, in this instance, Google. Um, it's saying the 69 pages indexed. Quite often, you'd be surprised how often people come to me saying, look, I've got this site and it's been up for a couple of years and um, it's not getting very good rankings. One of the first things I do is do this and surprised how often their site's not indexed at all. Um, I'm a massive fan of, of WordPress because it's got good search engine optimization out of the box. It's, it's easy for people to use. But one of the um, settings in WordPress is to not index the site and sometimes people accidentally do that. Sometimes I wonder if it's intentionally, but um, I've had people come to me that had an, paid an SEO for, for a year and a half to optimise their site. The SEO has been doing link building, been doing article creation, but didn't notice that that was checked, so they won't have any pages indexed. Um, it's something really important, so something you should do to all your sites. Do this command, site colon, see what is actually indexed, see how your pages come up in the search engine results. Um, so this particular site, um, we can look at the titles. Um, this um, clickable link is actually the, the page title on those particular pages. Um, and this section here, which is called the snippet in the search results, is um, more often than not the description tag, the meta description tag from uh, the site. So looking here, 69 pages, that probably feels about <coughs> right. 69 pages, Dieter, is that about right for your site? You don't know, is it more or less? Yeah, probably about right. Sometimes you might say, wow, I haven't got anywhere near that many pages. That can be a problem. There might be old versions of the site still there that you didn't know about. There might be duplicate content stuff. So if that number is vastly different from what you expect, it's good to spend some time seeing what actually is indexed there. But from an SEO perspective, what I'm most interested in at the moment is looking at these titles and looking at the descriptions to see if it's there. Now, um, this is a title is not great. Back Buddy is the name of the product, but unless you know what that is, you don't know what the site's about, so you're not really inclined to go there. Whereas if, if this page title was Back Buddy, um, um, I've had a look at the site, so I do know what the product is, but um, what, what's a one-line sentence that would explain what 
that product does. You know, scratch scratch your back in the shower, um, exfoliate. Yeah, but again, that's that's really generic. What we want to focus on here is keywords. So you need to focus on. Yeah, so healthy back, um, itchy back, um, scratch back. So a lot of these types of things, the phrases that people are searching for. If they know about back buddy, they'll find you no matter what you do. Back scrubber. Yeah, that's right. So in your page titles, you should be using keyword rich, descriptive um, page titles because that's what come in the search results. And if you look, look at all of these page titles here, exfoliate, you know, products, order form, login, there's nothing there that tells me what the product does. So that's, that's really important. Monty. Andy, why do you think they're indexing all HTTPS pages? Well, that's interesting in itself. Um, that's what I your opinion. Um, I guess it's probably because that's what he's using by default. He probably doesn't have HTTP enabled. And that is maybe intentional that... See, see, it's got a HTTPS extension. Yeah, so you do online sales. Um, so maybe that's okay, but you probably don't need to have the secure on every... You probably only need the secure on the, on the payment pages. Yeah, so it's interesting by looking at this to see what comes up. I'm not going to go into detail about how or why, but this is, this is an important step to go through to see what's actually been indexed. Um, while we're talking about page titles, which generates um, the linkable... Um, what, is that got a real title, anyone know? The clickable result in the search results and the snippet, which is generated by the um, meta description tag. You've probably all heard of the meta keywords tag and everyone knows that keywords are important. Keywords are really important, but the meta keywords tag is not important. In fact, it's, it's the opposite of important. I used to tell people not to worry about it. It was a waste of time. Um, but these days, that's changed. Um, Bing has announced about eight months ago now that their analysis has determined there's a high correlation between um, spammy pages and pages that have lots of keywords in their keyword tags. So they're actually using the keyword meta tag as a negative ranking tool. Now, it's not going to hurt it in itself, but if you're doing other things, it can influence, can negatively influence you. So, so now I don't say don't bother with the keywords. It's a waste of time. Now I say definitely don't do it because it can harm your rankings. So bear in mind that the major search engines, um, Google, Bing, Yahoo, have said for six years that they do not pay any attention to the keywords tag. So don't waste your time doing it. Are those pages actually ranked Um, I don't. I don't believe so necessarily. Any anyone else have a feel for that? So they always have the uh, main domain up there. Yeah. Main, sorry, the primary domain uh, up there. And in my experience, it's usually right. So I guess the, the question was: uh, Are these in relative importance of of how important Google thinks they are? Um, possibly, but remembering this is not actually associated with any keywords either. This is just pages. Um, so because it comes up top for no keywords doesn't mean that it'll rank for others. And, and it doesn't actually mean that these will ever come up in any search results necessarily. Even though they're indexed, they might appear on page 300. Um, it just shows you that Googles are aware of them. Okay. Any questions about, about this? If we flip back to the site, um, just not so much from a usability, um, from, a, from an SEO perspective, but um, one thing that I felt from a conversion optimization perspective, you've got lots of different ways here to, to buy, which is good, but I find that confusing on the home page. I'd rather just see one button, buy now, which then takes me through to a page that um, um, then gives me the options and it, it sort of clutters it up a bit. Um, also the site, the product, the nature of it screams at me video because it's a visual, you know, see how it works, see how you adjust it. And I notice you do have a video tucked right at the bottom here, um, but I'd be inclined to have a video up on the home page that <coughs> quickly and easily shows, you know, people scrubbing their back on it, how it works. 
Yeah. 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 And and that's that's a good value as well. You need to try and differentiate who your target market is. But you know. Uh, a young female scratching a back, not many people are going to complain about, probably. <laughs> Don't know. So we can see on here the results. The titles here are plain, dull, they're not keyword rich. Yep. I, I, I won't because we're, we'll need to move on. But, but the point is, even if we put in Backscrubber and it comes up, if you had Backscrubber in your page titles, you'd come up higher. So you need to incorporate those keywords into the title. And you need to actually, under, you probably know what, or think you know what your keywords are. You need to do a keyword analysis to see what do people search for when they're looking for something to scrub their back. So, and you need to address, you know, I think the, the first one you came up with, you know, um, something to do with a healthy lifestyle or something. But these people aren't looking for a healthy lifestyle. They're looking for something that'll help them scratch their bloody back. You know, so they're the things that's driving them, they're the things they'll be searching for. So you need to look at what their pain point is, and they're the keywords that you need to address in the site. Um, Sorry, can you just go back to, so just type in back and just see what kind of keywords you're looking for. Yeah, I'll do, yeah, I'll do back scrubber. So that's a good point. Um, so you're looking in Back Scrubber, they've got it in the title. They've got it in the title, they've got it in the title. Their Back Buddy's there, which is great. Um, but, and it's actually coming up because you've used it in the, in the text. But even then, with Back Buddy, I may not notice that because I was looking for Back Scrubber. Uh, probably these ones will grab out. Is this Australian yeah. pages? Sorry? Australian pages. Um, no, this is, this is actually .com. But... That's right. Yeah, it'll still be still be Australian bias pages here anyway. Okay, um, we'll move on with that because we've. But you know, I think there's some there's important things there, some fundamental things that can be done. Okay, is Katie here? Yeah. Okay. Look at girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Katie is from Gourmet Platters Australia. So this is, this is you know, a nice looking site, it's fresh, but the first thing that jumps out at you if you look at the page title, it's a rather odd page title, and if I... No, it's shit. <laughs> yeah, I was being polite here, I didn't want to make it cry. Okay, so if I do this, if I do this, um... Oops. If I do this site command, we'll have a look at what pages are actually indexed. And there's some, some other issues arise. So for a home page, that's not a really great page title. I think we'll agree. And do you understand why that's a problem? So, so your page title should be, um, you know, Gourmet Platters, Corporate Catering, Corporate Catering Australia, or Brisbane, is your target market Brisbane? Yeah. So you, you mentioned Australia, which is great, but, but you're probably not doing those for Sydney or Melbourne. No. So that should be mentioned prominently here because people are looking for that. Um, we go back to these titles. Um, these are a little better, but still, you know, not, not great. Gourmet Platters, again, there's a lot of other keywords you can add there. If you scroll down, it starts to get rather odd. There's the seven pages index, but here repeat search with admitted results included. If we look at those, we end up with a whole lot, um, 280, of all sorts of things, which um, are really strange. Yeah. I know. 
Okay. Um, so this is a site that you've bought as, um, not as a template, but as a, a build it site. Yeah. Um, it's using, I won't mention the name of the company that does it, but um, it actually, if you go to the site itself, it's not, it's art rather strange because it's not actually it's flash. Nice hey? <laughs> well, we might mention, do you want to mention the name? Yeah, yeah I don't mind. Okay. It's called Moonfruit. So I've not heard of them before, but but rather strange what they're doing. Um, all of this isn't flash, but it's got a flash overlay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So which is a problem. Um, flash is is traditionally been really bad for SEO because it can't be crawled or indexed. That's not specifically the problem here because it is actually being crawled and indexed but I think one of the problems um, how, is it a content management system do you are you able to do updates yourself yeah yeah and is it easy or difficult to do yeah well, so it's I, difficult. yeah well I think I think you'll find if you if you Monty's preempting me with WordPress this site could is screaming WordPress to me it could very easily be redeveloped in WordPress within half a day probably and give you a lot a lot more functionality and control, much better features. Um, looking at, at the page titles and this is not it's not just down to Moonfruit because some of their sites that I looked at are okay, so it's probably within the content management system it's awkward to do. But how long's the site been up? Um, about two years. Yeah. So you know having Seven pages indexed in two years is a bit of a problem. Um, there is uh, there is analytics on this site. Google Analytics is, is implemented. Do you look at your analytics data, or do you know what that is? Yeah. Okay, so that's good. That's one of the second things I'll look at. I'll look at to see what's been indexed, what pages are indexed, and then I'll also see if their analytics data is in place. Because as part of an audit, I really need to look at that analytics data to see where the traffic's coming from, what keywords are working for it. Um, a lot of people come to me saying they want um, better rankings, whereas that's not what they want at all. They want more sales. Yeah. So rankings are, and traffic are as a means to getting those more, those more sales. So with analytics in place, you can actually see what is generating sales and what isn't generating sales. You could have brilliant rankings. I could get you <coughs> top rankings for Britney Spears, but are they interested in buying gourmet platters? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. So it's not about getting good rankings or high traffic. It's about getting the right traffic yeah. that's targeting that wants to, to use your products. So um, looking through here, gourmet platters is prominent, which is good, um, but I, I bet there's a dozen other keyword phrases that that are probably as as good as that. Um, you mentioned catering, corporate catering, but you don't mention it a lot. There's not actually a lot of text-based content on the site. If we dig through a bit, um, you know, this is good. It's, it's text, and there's a gallery, uh, which is which is fine. But there's not a lot of text, and the search engines need text for context. Need to understand what the site's about. Um, one of my clients, yeah does bouncy castles, they also do um, fairy floss machines. And they had all these pictures of fairy floss machines over the site, but they couldn't work out why they weren't getting any traffic or any inquiries for fairy floss machines. They didn't mention it at all. They did not have the word fairy floss on their site. Lots of photos, but no text. And so you need to include text content about your site. Yes, Monty? I'm just going to comment that who eats gourmet platters? Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm no, no, people gourmet platters. And if you look at Yolumba's wine sales, there's always somebody holding the glass, drinking the wine, smiling and happy. There's nobody happy eating your food. People, people eat food. Yeah. Show them eating the freaking food. Okay. Yeah. Happily eating the food. Or having a food fight. Yeah, there's this little known company called, <laughs> you might have heard of, called Coca-Cola. You ever heard, ever heard of a company, Coca-Cola? So they do some advertising that doesn't even mention the product. It's just young people yeah. frolicking around having fun. And I'm just saying with the new panda, I'd be pissing off that big image there and making it a slider. I've been moving that glue on my platters right up the page because the first 30 of page now is getting hit by pandas ring that three. So you slide your glue on my platters, everything up the top of your heaps of black, white, wasted space there above the fold. 
I've been making that image smaller, making it slide with a whole lot of images. I've been pumping the text all the way across to give you more density of text. And I've been having other links, smaller images to other links to your gallery. And I'd have your keywords underneath those images of your menu. I'd have your order now on your menu button right up the top. Because people go, oh, if they're looking for gourmet photos that come to the page, the first thing I want to look at is a menu. I know you've got it on the left hand side, but I want to see a menu button up the top. And I want to see an order now button up the top there as well, so they can go straight to those okay. if they want to go to those. Um, but a lot more keyword there. <coughs> A lot more, um, lot more keywords. There is a website that you pay 10 bucks, you put in your website, it converts it to basically WordPress, gives you the HTML stuff, uh, sorry, gives you the WordPress function files, you upload it to WordPress the thing and it'll actually load that site and you can change it. And it costs you $10. And I'm just, I've am just texted a mate of mine to find out what it is, I've got it put back to my okay, computer. Um, you need that, that thing's shit, you need WordPress. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying you suck, I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. it's shit because they've done a really bad job and it's really disappointing no, um, and it's costing you money. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, 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 you use the tool. <laughs> yeah. Thank God you cook better than you build websites. <laughs> <laughs> it is shit. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Steve. <Dita. laughs> oh, sorry. Um, well, I can't. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's really odd to flash overlay. But anyway, it's yeah. The the basic structure. I think you've got the picture. The basic structure is dodgy. It, it should you should rewrite it. Um, and was it was it a free a free tool? Or uh, um, I know. Um, There's a basic template. Yeah. And what I did was I just rearranged it the way I wanted. Yeah. I put my own photos and, and all my um, information in there. Yeah. I guess my point was that a lot of a lot of business startups, you know, they don't really have a lot of money, so they do things cheap. But yeah. something like this, which is the doorway to your to your yeah. business, um, you know, you don't you don't use cheap bread. <laughs> for your platters, so you shouldn't be using cheap sites or cheap. Um, you should be really looking at WordPress, which is free, but you'll probably need some help in setting it up and organising it. Andy, can you type in Themes Press? That's the website address. Themes Press. This thing's off the hook. I've used 100 of these things that are all crap, but this thing converts your site to, to WordPress awesome as a theme. It's the best way to cost you 10 bucks. Themes Press. Themes Press. You go there, you'll, you'll, you'll log in, um, you pay your 10 bucks, you type in the URL, then it gives you a zip file with the function file, the page template, the index template, and three other files for WordPress. You then load it in as a theme, and you've got your website as a theme. Okay. And it does 80% of it really, really nice. A little bit of fix up, and then you rock and roll and then get someone to tweak it up for you. So, so basically, yeah. it you. generates a theme from an existing website yeah. in a nutshell. Yeah, it's awesome. It's the best one I've I've seen. Sorry. Aaron's Aaron's made a, a good comment. It may not work on yours because of the flash. Uh, yeah. It will because we'll still have underlying uh, HTML. Yeah. 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 It yeah. should work. Okay. Uh, but it, what it does, sorry, what it does, what, to see if it does work, when you type your website in, it'll show you. If you go do it now, I'll go home. No, I won't. We'll okay. move on. But if you put a website in, it'll show you what it'll look like as a WordPress. Okay. So if it's not going to work, it won't show you anything. Yeah. Okay. It does show cool. you something. So that's that's a good start to get to, to organising it. Okay, uh, Dita, yes. The question was. Okay, the question was difference between WordPress and Joomla, and I guess we should bring in Drupal as well. They're the three most common or most popular content management systems. Um, my personal favourite is WordPress. I think it's way easier to, to use for the average user than Joomla or Drupal. Joomla and Drupal are probably more powerful in certain ways, but they're a lot more complex and a lot less intuitive to use. So for the average user... Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So I, I recommend WordPress. Um, Joomla and Drupal are probably more mid-range sites that, that, yeah. Okay. Any any other questions or comments about gourmet platters? Any other comments about gourmet platters before we move on? Um. Sorry. Where do you rank? 
How do you rank? Don't know. Uh, yeah, haven't got a clue, and I actually like that answer. Um, I don't. I don't like basing things on rankings. Rankings are important, and rankings can give you a guide to how you're going, particularly if you're monitoring stuff. But ranking is 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 relevant, and these days with personalised search results, you'll rank for something on your PC, and it'll rank completely different on Dieters because of the search history and what it's been looking for. Oh, can, I, can I just make a really valid point? Though? Not one thing I've seen tonight has got social bookmarking or anything on it, which is off the hook crazy not to have it. Yeah. You've got to have your, your social bookmarkings on there for your Facebook, your stuff on your dick, your delicious, your Twitter. You've got to have them on there. Okay. So for people to, to repost your content and click on yeah. like it. I've got yeah. Facebook, but it's on, on it's the last page. It's here. It's here. Yeah. Well, so, I'm already on posting this everything. Page. And so yeah, for Dick and Delicious, for people to like and give your site and stuff. But also for people to like your site and yeah. to find your Facebook. You, you've got to make it as easy as possible for people to social encourage people to use the social media. And if your and if your target niche is focused in the social community, that's that's critical. Yeah. If your target market is not so much there, it's probably less important, but it's still a way to get your branding out, okay. still a way to get backlinks, still a way to get awareness. So it is important no matter what you do. Okay. Um, make it easy. And which is an interesting nice segue into Hills in Hollywood because Helena is the social social king of this site so we'll um, we'll have a look at that and there are there are some social links here but they should probably be a bit more prominent yeah so and we'll look we'll look further through there and I've not looked at this site at all but we'll go through a similar process Okay, so 1,600 pages, so it's obviously a much bigger, uh, more developed, more extensive site than um, the other ones. But if we look at the titles, um, straight away we're not seeing any keywords in those titles. If you look at those titles, um, Bridesmaids is the first thing I've seen that says anything about the products. So, you know, Hills in Hollywood is great. Um, and again, if your name was Coca-Cola, maybe that's all you need. But most of our businesses aren't that well recognised, so we need to say what we do first and who we are next. So the title here should probably start off with... Um, absolutely. So, so bridal and... Yeah, that's right. The other thing I notice here is on your home page, so the description that we're getting for your home page is this, which is your navigation. So that's telling to me there's not actually a description tag on this site. Um, if we view the source, we'll see we've got the title, but and there's lots of other meta tags, but there's no description. Um, okay. and, and arguably, in some cases, not having a description is valid, but on your home page, it really needs to be there, particularly yeah. seeing you've got virtually no other content. So content okay. is... So if we're going to... Um, and if we're going to find a retailer <coughs> and we go into... Every, everyone's blog is embedded... Yeah. In okay, we'll, we'll have a look. We'll have a look further yeah, down. No, that's fine. But in fact, something I really like about this, yeah. right on the front page, you'll bang. You're, you're segregating your target market. Yeah. Formal and bridal. You're sending them straight off to what they're wanting to know. Yeah. That's important. You don't want, want them to da dilly around and try and find what's important. You send them straight there. So, so that's good. Um, now, find a retailer. You were saying if we go in there. Sorry. Okay, I'd like to see a button here to click. I had to find what to click on. Okay, and then we've got... Okay, here, if we look at the page title... So we need some pickies there, yeah? You don't need pickies, necessarily. Um, but here, i look at this page title, there's nothing. There's no page title here. How do you get that? Um, it'll be in the code, but if I view the source, see the title is blank. Yeah. So. This is screaming, you know, Hills in Hollywood, Gympie Road, Chermside. So, or in fact, it would probably be formal and evening, formal evening and wedding outfits, Hills in Hollywood, Chermside. Because then, if I'm searching for formal wear, Chermside, what so page is going to come up? for each of the stores, each of the. Every one of these pages should have. A description. 
should have a, a description tag, but most importantly should have a title tag that says who you are, what you do and where you are. A page title tag. Okay. Um, question here, how do you get to the source? So on most browsers if you right click yep. and Go view page source. Okay. And, and then you can edit that. No, <laughs> you can't edit this directly, or everyone could edit it. But this, you need, you need to pass it on to your developers and say, look, all of these pages, because this will be generated from a database, say all of these pages use this as a page title, which is a combination of the name, the service, and the, the location. So location is really important to include on your site, and you mention it here. Yeah. Um, you should also, I, I recommend you mention it, you know, there's nothing on the home page that says Australia, and particularly this this is a .com domain. So, as far as, far as I'm concerned, Hills in Hollywood. Well, it's a US, so I'm not interested. So, I'd say wedding formal and evening gear Australia. We've all been to sites. Look through, awesome. This is fabulous. Just what I want. Oh, it's in Texas. I can't buy it. So, ten minutes through after you you're wanting to buy. So, putting the locality up there up in front is very important for search and for usability. Yep, sorry? Um, you're saying a lot about the title tag, uh, the title, um, when you're saying a lot of information that go in there. Is there too much? There is. Um, there's, there's a limit. If you actually look at a search result, um, yeah, it's actually about 70 characters, but we'll probably see some here that cut off. Yeah, so here, here's one that's cut off. So it's about 70 characters. You can have more, but ideally around 70. Start off with your primary keywords first um, and put your business name further down the track. I also like to have um, you know, a, a, a location in the title because when most often these days when we do a search we'll probably put a location in it because we know if we just put in bridal wear we get stuff from everywhere we, we, we're, we're local. I also like to stress, I've been talking a lot about page titles tonight, it's, it's important but there's lots of other things as well, just we don't have a lot of time tonight to cover all sorts and these are the things that are jumping out from the sites that we're reviewing at the moment um, so also looking through here, there's, there's really not a lot in the way of content on this page. Um, I'd be inclined to, to make these two main images a bit smaller and put some content around what you do. Okay. So as um, text is important or the content is important that describes the services or the products that you're offering. But as a woman, I just want to click on her. She rocks. Yeah. Well, as a man, I'd like to click on her as well. <laughs> but if you click, if you click, but but the thing, is, what I'm saying is, click on one. It's click, click, because then which one? The one I like. The blonde. That one you like. That one. That one. The one. Okay. So that, that's so my then point. We get more content. Yeah, so but, but I guess my point is that Hello. the search engines. You got to get the search engines to get people there before they can yeah. choose anything. So it is a compromise. Yeah. Ultimately, whatever you do on your site, if it's going to be good for your users, it'll be good for search engines. But but if if you do it just for your users and ignore the search engines, you won't get any users. So it it is a compromise in some ways. Can we shush up, please? If you want to chat, you can go downstairs. Roll down a bit, mate. Let's see how much text is by the way. Okay, so again on this page there's not a lot of content, but you know it's a nice, it's a visual site and for the product it needs to be visual, but think of ways to add extra content. If we look at the blog, and I haven't looked at it, I'm a massive fan of blogs. Well this, no, we, this is a new blog. Okay, so, so work on that. Blogs are an amazing way, and this is another fan, reason I'm a fan of WordPress as an SEO. It's easy to use, so people will use it, and they'll put content on there. Um, if there's something on the news, write something that's relevant to your business, write a comment on it. Yeah. If there's, there's um, I've told many of you this story about a client of mine that does termites. So, so whenever he does a job that's a little bit different, a little bit unusual, he'll write a case study. You know, termite treatment Carindale, he'll talk about it. You know, Bill from Carindale um, noticed a snail 
noticed the mud trail up the side of his house and he called us and we went in and we investigated, we discovered this, this and this, all keywords, we recommended this, this and this, also keywords, uh, this is the treatment we applied and this is the outcome, here's a couple of photos and what they, they published that and then within minutes they'll be ranking on page one for termite treatment Carindale because they regularly do post and they'll stay there for months. But what he also does, he'll send the link to that post to Bill. He says, hey Bill, did a bit of post about the job we did. Bill looks and goes, oh, that's about me. I'm famous. I'm on the web. He sends it to his friends and family. So they're giving referrals without him even knowing it. So it's a really clever way to do it. Um, also on that termite site, every time there's something on a current affairs or to name on about termites, which is about every six weeks, because everyone likes a story about a house falling to bits, they pre-promote it, so he knows there's going to be a story next Tuesday night. He'll write a story based on that promotion, what he thinks the story is going to be about. He'll watch that. He will um, tweak tweak the title to exactly match the title in the story. And he'll say, as seen on a current affair tonight, where they talked about this, 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 and this. This is our perspective. He'll post it within 10 minutes of that going to air, and he'll outrank a current affair for that program. Um, and he'll get thousands of hits. When they type in termites a current affair, he's there. So that can be applied to, to most of your industries as well. Maybe not, not that obviously, but it really works. Um, is this blog through WordPress, or is this...? This isn't a WordPress blog, but the principle is the same. Can you link a WordPress blog to your website? Yeah. So, so a WordPress blog can be hooked in and can be branded to look just like the rest of your website. Um, mostly, these days I recommend, for, for, for most small business sites, just write the whole thing in WordPress. Um, it's easy for them to update content and pages, and, and there's a nice blur between posts and pages anyway. So you tell people that they need to start writing posts and, and they get scared, but then you say, oh, I just need to do a news article and they're cool with that. So it's just a, a little mental thing. And there's a lot of strategies that can be used to make it easy. Um, but, but blogs are a fantastic tool. Once you're regularly posting on keyword-rich stuff, um, when the Australian dollar um, reached parity with the US dollar, I wrote a post on... Um, Strong Aussie dollar, now's the time to look at overseas directories, so buying, you know, paying for overseas directories. I ranked for st on page one for Strong Aussie dollar for, for four days. Didn't get any traffic, didn't get any sales, but on such a strong keyword for, for, for that phrase in that period, it's, it's just amazing. So the power of using targeted posts, um, blog that is relevant to, to the marketplace, you can do amazing things. Okay. Um, might move on. Any any more comments or questions? Any of the other SEOs I have just got? Click on one of the posts. Just go continue reading. Let's get the feedback there. Scroll down the bottom. So it's, a, it's cool. Liking on Facebook's cool. I'd still put delicious or a dig or a stumble on yeah. the top of there. And probably yeah. put them at the top. Yeah. yeah. Make it easier. You want to make that as easy as possible. Um, there's not really a title here. No. No, so you should have a, a keyword rich title. Um, content wise, I think it's a good volume of content, it's a good size. It's laid out nicely with the bullets, it's easy to read. You don't just want a big block of text. And, you know, some pretty pictures make a huge difference as well. Actually, on that, you've got good images on the site, you should put uh, interest on there as well. Yeah. I think we do have links. If you guys, is this going to uh, formal an evening now? No, I'm only going to cocktail dresses. Okay, cocktail dresses. Sex, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, one of those. <laughs> First one. <laughs> you, you're not letting me choose anymore. <laughs> okay. okay. Scroll down. I think there, there it is, oh, but it hasn't got the. Oh, no. Interest isn't on no, it's yeah. not. Yeah, but look at that. Actually, actually, depending on what um, tag you're using for Adlis, it does actually customise the share buttons a little bit. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure um, how... So you can probably, you can probably customise that to, to include Pinterest, but you should have a okay. Pinterest-specific one. Yeah. And, and you're strong on Pinterest already, so make it easy, encourage people to do it. Okay, but but again, this this doesn't have a page title, you know, evening dress, 
What, what, what's missing here, you can only say for every product, tag the crap out of it. Because you've got, you know, that's a cocktail vessel, or whatever it is, it's uh, made of chiffon, is it? Um, you know, you've got to have other tags so that, uh, on the page, you've got to hold it. You've got a whole lot of space here to write more about the keyword rich. Yeah. You know, to get keyword it's rich a new rest, site. You know. It's a new site. Yeah. So what we're starting with is I would go again, cocktail dress, evening dress, da da da, and I'd try and get it into the description. We're going there very slowly. Yeah, cool. Slowly but surely. Yeah, yeah. Build, it out, build 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 it out, more text. It That'd is. Cool. And yeah. focus on your your high profit products or your high volume products, the ones that sell yeah, a lot? Yeah, well that's so. it, because we don't have a lot of call for the cocktail dresses, Can we you? do for the formal and the bridal, so they're the ones that I'm working on to try and get. Is there the old tags on your images? Hey? What tags? No old tags on your images. Oh, this, you've got so many images, you want to have an old tag on the image which might say, you know, hills in Hollywood, or cocktail dress, fuchsia, hills in Hollywood, all your keywords for your old text for your image. You have got an old tab there that's like massive. And then Google will pick it up and Google Images with your old tag and then people will click on those images to Google Images and you'll get traffic. Yeah. So, so it's, all, it's all through the database. Um, so where you've got the image, you generate an alt tag which includes yeah. the title and probably the colours and, and the fabric. Wherever so I can get words in, I'll get them in. Back yeah. coral fuchsia chiffon cocktail dress. So all the alt tags exactly. Okay. Yeah. Black yeah. dress, white dress, yeah, um, yeah. formal dress, happy yeah, every dress. Every keyword that you're looking for. Name an address with a model. <laughs> 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 that might get some interest. <laughs> <laughs> Music, um, uh, whether they like smoke walks on the beach. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay. On the current sort of language of the young people as well, in the description, mm -hmm. what they would describe in the life. It's well, the language of your target market. Funky, yeah. yeah, funky, and we go through, we do do that. And sometimes with the um, with with certain descriptions, we have to do the um, whole laugh out loud or the bling or whatever. Yeah. This is on our on our Facebook page. Yeah, the bling and get this with the bling, and every girl loves bling and. Like that. Have you, have you, are, you, are you partnering with any accessory mops as well for your site? The shoes and like a dawn or something for your jewellery and stuff? We do shoes. Oh, cool. Yeah. But I'd love to see there's a massive market there for you to expand as well, not just shoes but uh, other accessory types and things. All the stuff. stores go with their own. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're free to do accessories and, and even shoes. Themselves. Okay, we might we might move along. Um, what else have we got? Anyone else see their name there and want to want to have a quick look? John's there. I'll I'll have a quick look at this one because um, again it's it's interesting in its own ways. Um, home loans. Um, Bill's here somewhere, I think. Yep. Um, so this is a particularly difficult niche. Um, there's a lot of things on this site that are good and, and useful and helpful. If we look at the page title, Home Loans Brisbane, Mortgage Brokers Brisbane Home Loans Advisors, so that's a pretty good keyword rich tag. Um, content wise, you know, he's got Home Loan Advisors Brisbane, so he's got names, etc. He's got a lot of content on the home page, maybe a little too much, but it's, it's certainly reasonable. Um, and if we look through the site, there's, you know, there's, there's a reasonable amount of content. Now, the only real thing that I'd suggest with this is to add a blog to it. Um, there's hundreds of these sites that have all got the same information. To get rank well, you've got to differentiate yourself from those. And a blog is the quickest and easy ways to do that. And Bill's actually doing that with, with his sites now, so I know he's doing that. But again, it gives you the opportunity to put unique content, different content, topical content. Bill also does newsletters. I don't know if you publish those online. Oh, yeah. So it's newsletters. If you're creating newsletters and sending them out to your clients, publish them on your site as well. Even if they're there as PDFs, that's crawlable. It's full of keywords. You don't have to rewrite and reinvent it. You've already got that content. Yes. Just for the content, can you just, I'll show you a site which has got accordion style things. Which it's a landing page, but it's a, it'll show you how you can get a heap of content on a page without being terrible. Yeah. If you go to AndrewMarks.com. 
Slash W C O. I've seen that theme before. <laughs> so this is I've got this is a design sort of landing page. And see those accordions? So you can just put whatever like text you like in there. It's just JavaScript and you can make your page look good, you can make it in headings, you can make it dark, you can make it bold, blue, whatever. And it gives you the density for Google for all Google sees in the HTML is the text. It doesn't read JavaScript. But it then makes your site look a lot cleaner and a lot easier to read than the headings. So it's still crawlable, just a straight text for Google's, yeah, but it, code, it's less cluttered. All that text is just straight there in the source code. Okay. It's a nice way to do it. Yeah. So, so oh, where were we, Bill? So coming back to here, adding a blog to this, um, he could recreate this site very easily as a WordPress, or he could add a WordPress on and, and theme it to look just like this. Yep, Monty? The thing I'd add on that is that I can give you the data if you want it. But Nielsen out of Stanford will say when it's a professional service firm, and that's what you are, because you're selling loans. And I buy loans from a person that if you have a video on your site, the conversion is they'll go to 1.3 sites before making a decision. Without a video, they'll go to four different sites. I'd get rid of the picture of the husband and wife and the two kids, and I'd put a video saying, hi, this is me, I can freaking finance your house. And I'd explain who you are and what you're on about, and I'd embed a video there. Do you agree with that, Andy? Yeah, probably. I mean, personalizing, particularly in this thing, depends, I wouldn't put a video you up. No. <laughs> Depending on who you are, um, videos are really powerful. Um, um, not just not just on the site, but also for search as well. If you can create some videos relevant to your niche and put them up on YouTube, um, that's a really good way to get to get traffic and to take up some of those top ten positions for your competitors as well. Um, but this site, I think it's mostly okay. Um, I didn't do this, by the way, but I have worked with Bill in the past, so it's nice to see some stuff rubbing off. Um, but, yeah, I'd add a blog and, and put content up. Um, that's We've got about five minutes left to the official time. I'm going to lurk around. Um, I'm happy to look at other sites of people wanting to. Um, are there any specific sites that anyone in the audience would like us to look at? Can you go back to the list? Okay. Why don't we do John's while he's here? We can do John's. I'm going to add you with things that you... John's like to me. Have you changed it? Hey? Have you updated it? No, I haven't. Okay. So, so this is John's site. Decent, decent titles I've seen. Um, big, big image. And I must also stress that this screen is a small screen, so it looks bigger than otherwise. But it is quite big. Um, well, if we do the site command. Just, John, John, I'm that. I'm that. I mean, that's a popular image. Yeah, not yeah. that I'm against images, I'm not a racism, but um, your business is really specific. It's really like. That, so if I was putting an image on yours like that, your computer tell and it explains down the bottom of it, I would have a picture there that says, not getting the conversions you like, not getting the sales you want, but well, here's the answer. And the answer is you checking out all the stuff, right? So you take them through a three-stage process of what they do. Because people say, everyone doesn't make enough money, they don't get enough conversions, they're not getting enough traffic. Right? That's everybody's life. We all want more. So you've actually ticked on three things that people want, and then you've got a solution to read below for the solution, basically. Instead of having that image where... And I'm working on that. It's yeah. slide deck. Yeah. 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 And the FAQ as well. Yeah, FAQ. But I, I stress everybody in the universe, yeah. have the stuff your about us page with all the crap that you want, the keywords and stuff, and go FAQ. Had 20, 30, 40 questions on your FAQ, because I guarantee you, and you bold some answers and a highlight and underline it, Google picks FAQs, it looks at your title tag, looks at your home page, looks at your about us, looks for a disclaimer, and then it goes and finds the whole FAQ page, and you get double and triple listings on your websites for an FAQ, and put all of your key questions and keywords in your FAQ. FAQs are awesome, so are glossaries, glossary of terms as well. 
Um, one of one of the one of the sites I've done is a, a site for for a prostitute, and when, within Queensland, there's there's the PLA. There's all sorts of rules and regulations, but what they can and can't say. There's a whole lot of things they're not allowed to say on their site. So how we got about that? We had a section that's saying. According to the PLA, these are the things we can't say. So we had a list straight off their side of all the words we couldn't say. And it was tucked away, but it actually worked really, really well. Because no one else was doing it. John, I've got a as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's madness. It's all white speakers. Just, just as, as a side to this, this is a site that I did this morning. Um, as a feeder to one of the training workshops we're doing. But it gives, and it's, it's nowhere near complete, but it gives an indication of um, the way I approach creating a new site. So this is all about, you probably guessed. <laughs> analytics. <laughs> yeah, analytics training. So if we look at, if we look at the site structure, you know, I'm, I've, I've done the keyword analysis, looked at what people are searching for. What is analytics? What is web analytics? What is Google analytics? Um, Google Analytics for WordPress, Web Analytics tool, all about Web Analytics workshops, Analytics Training Gold Coast, Analytics Training Brisbane. So there'll be specific pages about all of these topics. Um, so very focused, targeted pages with very focused keywords, and the whole lot is about analytics. So, what's that? Nice theme. Yeah, it is a nice theme. It's um, 11:40 uh, Genesis theme. Oh, okay. So, quick and easy, um, a bit of a glossary of terms, so this is just a random text that, that each time you reload does a different phrase, which is just full of keywords people searching for. Um, it's a nice pickies, which may or may not have copyright. Where's your social media? <laughs> Where's your social media? But, but we won't talk about that. Well, Where's your Facebook page? I've done, I've, this, I've done this in an hour and a half this morning, so I haven't yet got to those. Okay. Good answer. <laughs> And a quick blog post about something that's topical. So, um, <laughs> well, that that's. <laughs> so, so that's, I guess, just an example of something that I've quickly done that I think is good, and it's it's only part way there yet, but it's a nice start. Um, and on that, we might we might wrap. Um, as I said, I'll be lurking around. Other people will be lurking. You're welcome to stay and have a chat. Um, thanks very much for coming. Thanks. Next meeting, I don't know what we'll be doing yet. Maybe on analytics. Might be interesting. Is anyone interested in analytics? Yeah. Okay, we might, we might do a topic on analytics, which will be sort of a, a, a beginner, mid-range type topic. So if people are interested in that. Cool. And if I can talk to John and if he's able to. <laughs> if not, I'll do it. Thanks, Amy. Okay, thanks guys and girls. <laughs>